friends, I'd like to read for you today. And again, for those of you who just arrived, my name is Tony. I'm a member of Grace Community Church down in the San Fernando Valley. Santa Clarita is my home. I've lived here for 27 years. I serve this community as a deputy sheriff for 20. And I'm out here with the prayerful support of my pastors to bring to you the good news of the gospel. The good news that salvation is by the grace of God alone, through faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. The good news is that you can have your sins forgiven. The good news that you can be reconciled. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Let me find an English one here for you. There you go. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day. The good news that your sins can be forgiven, that you can be reconciled to your Creator, and that you can have the assurance of eternal life. Not based on religion, not based on good works, but based entirely on the mercy and grace of God through faith in His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Jesus said, greater love is no one than this, than he who lays down his life for his friends. Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. This is good news, my friends. The gospel of Jesus Christ is good news. In fact, you will never find news better. You will never find a gift better than forgiveness of your sin and reconciliation to your Creator through faith in Jesus Christ. For those of you who are just arriving, I have free Bibles in English and Spanish. Free Bibles. Free copies of the Word of God. I'd like to read to you what's commonly known as the parable of the sower. Jesus often spoke in parables, stories, to make spiritual points, to teach spiritual lessons. And a very important one is the parable of the sower. You'll find it in Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13, that is the first book of the New Testament. Matthew chapter 13. Want me to help you find it? Ma'am, do you want me to help you find it? Which, can I help you find it? And I'll wait, ma'am. I'll gladly wait for you. And again, it's going to be chapter 13 in Matthew. You, did you find it? Great, okay. Matthew chapter 13, God's Word tells us this. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. And great crowds gathered around him, so that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. And since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Then the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, 
To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given. And he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables. Because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, You will indeed hear, but never understand. And you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they could barely hear, and their eyes they have been closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. That is what was sown along the path. And for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself but endures for a while, and when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the world, immediately he falls away. As for what is sown among the thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. So Jesus presents this parable of four different soils. 